everyone, welcome to Definition Ale. I'm Stephen Rich and this is Real Beer. And this is Real Beer. This Real Beer is by Bose All Natural Brewing. This is Series 3 of their Pro-Am Series. This is the Double Wide Double IPA. Uh, Brad Clifford, home brewer extraordinaire and winner of last year 2011's Great Canadian Homebrew Competition uh, was able, because of his win, he was able to go up to Bose and brew with the team any beer he felt like. Uh, the beer that he won the Great Canadian Homebrew Competition with was, I believe, a Pilsner, if I remember correctly, uh, which was absolutely delicious. Brad has a real knack for hitting uh, hitting beers right to the style, and he did a fantastic job with that. Uh, but rather than going up to Bose and brewing a Pilsner, he decided to rock a double IPA. And at 8% and 100 plus bitter units, I think he definitely rocked it. Uh, so this was available a little while ago. Uh, some bottles were released, and it also floated around in kegs to some beer bars around southwestern Ontario and up in Ottawa, Van Cleek Hill. By now, I expect that it's largely unavailable, uh, so I feel pretty privileged to be enjoying one right now. So let's get right into it. Wow, this IPA is definitely on the richer side of the scale, at least on the appearance. It's this golden amber, it's got a lot of mahogany and reds, it's got this nice burnt orange and kind of brown going through it, and the head is nice, off-white, creamy, it's got a tan sensation going to it. Yeah, it's very pretty. It's completely transparent. Uh, I expect it's probably been filtered, or maybe not even, actually. I can see some little flecks floating throughout it. Um, but it's certainly not foggy whatsoever. Really nice. It may not appear like an Imperial Pale Ale, India Pale Ale, right off the bat, but uh, if you think about the American styles, a lot of those IPAs are a little bit more on the redder side, which this certainly is. If you smell it, it's pretty blatantly an Imperial IPA. There's a lot of hop, a lot of fresh juiciness coming out of here. I'm getting pine and earth more than zest. There is kind of a tropical fruit sensation in here, which is leaning into the kind of grapefruit and sweet pineapple kind of range. I get a lot of pine though. I get not quite that green coniferous tree pine, but more of the sap, that resiny, that kind of sweet and tangy pine sensation. There's obvious malt in the background too, it's really in that bready cereal grain kind of range. There's sweet caramel and candy in there too. Really nice aroma. I'm getting right into this. Oh yeah. Hmm. Where the malt was not forefront on the aroma, it's actually coming through a lot on the palate. It's got all this kind of caramel butterscotch. It's like a kind of a toffee pudding floating all over here, but packed with bitterness. You can feel it. The bitterness is sensational in the back of my cheeks. It's right on the front of my tongue and it's lasting. It's still here, I can still feel it. But it's bringing with it this, again, piney, zesty, slightly earthy, but overall citrus sweet kind of hop sensation. Mm, it's creamy too. The carbonation, it's got to be like medium at most in here, and the mouthfeel is smooth and generous because of it. It's very lush, it's coating my palate, it's got a slight kind of oily texture to it as well, which is really helping all those uh, lupulin bitterness kind of characters just coat my palate. Mm. Some resiny sensations in here, a little bit more of that sweet earth. Again, the bitterness and the malt character are playing together really nicely, but 100 plus IBUs. 
is a lot of bitterness and it's prevalent right over my entire palate. At the same time, a little bit refreshing, but I have warmed this bottle up. It's been sitting out of the fridge for about 15 or 20 minutes. At this kind of ABV and IBU, I really wanted to be able to enjoy all the flavors that this beer has to offer rather than just muting them. Mm. Yeah, really delicious, really wonderful double IPA. I remember having it on draft when it was cooler and it was just sensationally refreshing. And as it warmed in my hand from draft, again, it came into this range with a little bit more malt, uh, a little bit more bitterness as well, but the fruity, sweet sensations of the hops were coming out a little bit more. Well done, Bose. Well done, Brad. Cheers.